Now, the Supreme Court had made evident its displeasure over the working of the real estate regulatory authority, saying that it had become a rehabilitation center for retired bureaucrats who the court says have undermined the entire purpose of the act. The court was hearing an appeal to a Delhi High Court judgment, which dismissed pleas seeking directions to banks and financial institutions to refrain from charging pre-EMIs or full EMIs from the petitioners and home buyers, arguing that alternative remedies, including radar, were available. My colleague Shreya reports. Take a look. Supreme Court has described the real estate regulatory act the RERA 2016 act as a rehabilitation center for former bureaucrats who have frustrated the scheme uh, by holding positions now RERA was supposed to promote transparency among home buyers and the builders uh, but it has failed miserably in doing so in ensuring timely delivery of the properties to the home buyers and uh, i'm joined by a resident of uh, one such RERA certified property which is here in noida extension and how so so many of these towers here in this particular property is still under construction and uh, people have uh, paid huge lump sums a lump sum of money investing in this but they are yet to get the official reg uh, officially registered um, flats and uh, it has been years since 2013 it has uh, the property has been stalled and uh, the construction is still underway sir uh, you tell me how effective do you think rera the role of rera has been in uh, handing over these uh, properties. So basically, if we'll talk about the RERA, so RERA is an uh, uh, body, legal body, which will be um, formed by the government, but actually it is nothing helping to the resident because if you see this particular tower, this has been, uh, this has been uh, uh, booked, yeah, this one, which is uh, under construction. So these has been towers been booked on 2012 by the resident and the position time is 2018, whereas we are sitting on the 2024. So it's already six years delayed and there is a no time frame by the builder when he's going to be handover. So the people are in invested a huge amount they are paying the emis they are paying the rent where are they are living and you could give us a sense of how much money um, around how much money do they invest so on an average 30 to 40 lakh rupees is an, an average amount which has been, been invested and it depends on the uh, size of the flats and there are the three types of category in our society and what about the high court uh, case that is still going on so that is still pending. So basically that is one case where Mahagun has to give an, some certain amount to the authority, which they have won the case in the high court. But again, authority has been sent the file to that uh, CM office uh, asking for the wave off. So until unless there is a no provision will happen from the CMO office, the registry will not going to be start for the seven uh, uh, registry for the seven towers. Now, at this point, I'm being joined by Prashant Kanha, an advocate of the Supreme Court. He's also an expert in real estate law. Thank you for joining us, sir. Firstly, you know, there have been several cases of builders starting projects, then abandoning them midway due to lack of funds. What action must ideally be taken in this case? Well, the RERA authorities were established in 2017 in Uttar Pradesh and other states to protect the interest of the buyers. This is the major objective of the act and the RERA authorities have been given wide amplitude of power to bring out any project from distress. Like there is a provision under section 8 that they can, you know, auction the project and give the right first right to the allottees association. But I must say that when the Supreme Court says that they have frustrated or undermined the uh, provisions of the act, it, it aptly you know uh, says that they have not been able to utilize these provisions or the powers which have been conferred upon the RERA to bring a resolution to these stuck projects or the projects or the buyers who are uh, there in problem because they have not been able to exercise the power to the larger amplitude or for the larger extent of projects. Other problem that has arisen in these situations or uh, in these pro stuck projects are that the RERA have been looking to other authorities to implement its orders also. Like for instance, if a home buyer has got a decree for return of the money, then the RERA instead of implementing same by its own, uh, its, by its own, it sends these uh, recovery certificates to the district collector and then it does not follow on them. Then the home buyer has to go to high court, go into contempt jurisdiction, means a buyer has to run from pillar to post just to implement that order. Whereas the entire intention or the objective of the act was that a home buyer may get a relief from a single forum. Earlier also there was NCDRC or the state commissions for consumer protection. But this RERA act or the RERA authorities were established to consolidate the entire power 
so that there can be a general resolution even this rare authority has got power to recommend to the state government that how the projects can be made viable right. how the real estate can be developed better but they have failed in all these aspects when but the supreme court has said this thing ma'am uh, when the but... supreme court has said this thing uh, it has said only because of the right. thing that once you know there is a project there is a financer there is a home buyer and there is a project developer promoter there is a contract between all of them for the financing of the project but when the project is failing still the banks are after these home uh, against the buyers and they are not running against the project promoter and they are you know initiating the debt recovery procedure against right. the home buyer when the home buyer is approaching the rera they are shunning their power saying that we don't have the authority right Absolutely, Mr. Kana. Now, like you mentioned, when Rera doesn't safeguard them, uh, when they fail the home buyers, what are the options do home buyers have for redressal? So, ma'am, that is one of the recover. Uh, uh, this was one of the remedies hmm. that they had. Uh, they they explored that by approaching the high court in extraordinary jurisdiction. See, when there is no remedy or when the uh, competent authorities is uh, shunning its responsibility, then any buyer can approach the high court. under its extraordinary jurisdiction initially when this matter was filed before high court interim relief was granted and the courts and the drt and other forums were stopped from taking criminal action against these buyers but ultimately the matter on advance hearing or final hearing it was dismissed saying that rera has the power but now the it does not define the court did not define that how does rera have this power therefore the only option that was left with the home buyers was to approach the honorable supreme court and get a clarity on how you know if the project is stuck right. people under debt and the debt recovery procedure has been adopted then would which would be the proper forum whether the uh, rera has the consolidated and comprehensive power to resolve all kind of buyer and real estate related dispute or different forums will come into picture right because ultimately see home buyer right. is a bona fide purchaser and he must be he must be protected and jurisprudence should be developed in such a way that he may get relief from a single window and not running for different aspects of the matter before different forums uh, Absolutely. what happens today if a real estate project has got stuck the loan recovery will be initiated by the bank through debt recovery tribunal the company will go into insolvency right. they have to file a separate insolvency petit claim and then they will keep on waiting so buyer buyers still don't have a resolution and i must say and i Uh, uh completely agree with the honorable supreme court uh comments that it has undermined its power just like hanuman undermined right. its power but he the authority needs to be reminded the honorable supreme court comments must be taken in a positive manner the authorities right. must introspect and utilize their power to uh, amplify its magnitude see a buyer going to right. the pilot authority is you know not in the best interest a builder may go into the best right absolutely builder may go into appeal right hmm. thank you mr kana for joining us and sharing your thoughts on this development we'll bring you more on these stories